obviously grew up in South London. You know, football's more of a religion where I'm from. Uh, I used to play football, I enjoyed it, and then it kind of got to that stage where I wasn't enjoying it as much because I was kind of getting told off for being too physical. So I decided to stop play, playing. Uh, my mum then was just by chance speaking to one of her good friends. Um, and she said, why not just bring Carl down to the local rugby club on a Sunday? Her son just started um, at Batsy Ironsides. Um, my mum and said, yeah, why not? And I rocked up in a full Man United kit and gave it, gave it a good crack. And ever since then, I just uh, fell in love with the sport. I've always just wanted to kind of just kind of get some sort of frustration out. And sometimes I don't even know what I'm frustrated about. I just wanted to just hit something, you know? So um, I tried kickboxing, karate, too hard, too much sweat. I was like, nah. Uh, and then rugby was just, just the one for me. Well, I gave football a try, cricket a try, just to kind of keep myself busy. But I always knew rugby was, you know, number one. None of my friends at school knew what, what, what rugby was and then um, a few of them came to watch me play, say around 12, 13, 14, because the rugby club was close to the football club. Um, I would play rugby before on a Sunday and then I'd go and watch you know, my mates play um, the football at their football club, literally at the top of Burntwood Lane. And I just said, look, I'm interested in starting a team at school. You guys will be good at rugby because one, you're quick, you're massive. So let's just give it a go. And I spoke to Miss Long, who was a teacher at the time, and said, look, I want to start a rugby team. Um, would you be keen on running it? And she obviously, you know, she just said, yeah. And uh, quite a few of my mates started playing rugby. Didn't really know what to do, but I just said, look, when you get the ball, you run, you run forward. Don't really worry about passing it or kicking it. I'll do all that stuff. I'll just give you the ball, you run, you run forward. And uh, they, they enjoyed it at the end of the day. So it was, uh, it was good, good fun at the time. I was deceptively quick, um, good hands off my right, could offer the offload, incredible kicking game, um, very good in wet weather conditions, um, terribly unfit. Uh, <laughs> I was playing uh, against KCS Wimbledon uh, and Colin Osborne's son Bradley, who I eventually played with at London Scottish, um, played for KCS and he was obviously watching his son play. Um, and I had a decent game, if I remember. Um, and then a few weeks later, Colin called my, my house phone and invited me down to like a Harlequins trial for the academy. And then, yeah, he just kind of moved me to, to, to tight head prop straight away because I was always a centre or fullback um, and sometimes dipped in at fly half if the fly half wasn't there. So it was a big, a big change, but um, one I thank Colin for. But, I just remember trying to run off with the backs when they tried to do like the split at the start of, start of the session, backs to the left, forwards to the right, and I was obviously running off to the backs and he was like, nah, you're a prop now. I was like, okay. Just like, look, get in this position and push, that's it. I was like, all right, sweet. Um, obviously when you sit back and look at it, um, you know, you kind of got to pinch yourself sometimes, but. For me, I've still got a long, long way to go. Like I'm nowhere near any of the goals that I wanted to achieve. I've just got to keep my head down, working hard, doing my job, um, doing the best for my teammates and see where it takes me. But I'm not getting any younger, so I need to, I need to hurry up. <laughs>